forecast. Well, this awesome October weather will continue. That is a live view from atop our Carter Mountain weather camera seeing increasing fall color and bright blue skies up above with the Blue Ridge Mountains nearly 15 20 miles there in the distance. All right, I'm meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick looking at the fall foliage. We are at peak over half the area now from the Blue Ridge Mountains and west towards the Shenandoah Valley over the next week into the first week of November. Central Virginia will be at peak fall color, so fantastic weather to get out there to see the emerging fall colors across the entire region and you can get this fall foliage update anytime on the storm team 29 weather app and check out the photo coming to us from the Shenandoah Valley near the Waynesboro area thanks to Winnie Brown showing this year the despite the ongoing severe drought the maple trees have really put on a, a great display there are the reds and the oranges especially there in the landscape with those sugar maple trees all right now the next big thing I'm tracking from the weather center is going to be abnormally warm conditions so as we go into the end of the week and the weekend Daytime highs nearly 20 degrees above average, nearing record breaking territory by especially Saturday. In that first forecast through your Wednesday evening, temperatures on the rise to about 80 degrees for a daytime high up to about uh, 3 or 4 o'clock in Charlottesville. Upper 70s and low 80s will be the name of the game, and these temperatures will come up every afternoon through about Saturday. Even Sunday and Monday will be warmer than average. Sunset now is at 623 and expect a drop in temperature after sunset with this dry air. 72 right now at the lunch hour in Charlottesville and also into Harrisonburg and the warmer spot is uh, Stanton at 74 degrees right now. Oh, so we can go on past the live Doppler radar picture. I mean, there's no clouds out here, no rainfall at, at all. We have this huge area of high pressure that's going to dominate the southeast and the mid-Atlantic region and with a high pressure dome that will keep the storm track from Texas up into the upper Ohio Valley and the Great Lakes. And that's where the majority of the rain will stay for quite some time. And look at this. There's a the first significant winter storm of the season over the northern Rockies and into the Cascades. In fact, there's winter weather alerts all the way from Washington State to North Dakota. More than 1000 mile stretch there of snowy weather. So there's there are some colder signs off to the northwest and it will turn colder here by a week from now. Until then, there's the storm track staying off to our northwest on our high res weather tracker. Some high cirrus clouds in our blue sky kind of doling our sky somewhat, but there's the warm temperatures coming our way from the southwest. The colder air won't arrive here until next week. So here's Monday. We're still mild in the 70s. Uh oh, look at your Tuesday for Halloween for trick or treat we will drop into the 40s. So much cooler by the start of November for sure. Forecast today, mostly sunny and milder 75 to 80 degrees. We'll call it a south breeze tonight. Mainly clear 45 to 50 by daybreak on average highs tomorrow upper 70s and mostly lower 80s under a partly sunny sky. Here's your seven day forecast in the 80s on the Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. No rain in sight. A cold front arrives Monday night with maybe a rain shower, but it will turn significantly cooler for Halloween and the first week of November. Jerry.